Okay, so I'm in the Christmas section. And I'm looking at Christmas trees. Just for like future reference, because I know that Daryl has been like, I think, trying to be more like surprising lately. So everybody probably thinks I'm nuts. It's kind of a small town, so I don't know if they have like vloggers that live here, but um, so this is my favorite one. I know it's not pre lit, but I don't really like pre lit because, like, when I was a kid, I used to put all the stuff on myself, so that's what I prefer. And this one is 107.20, it's regularly 134, but it's seven and a half feet, which is fine for us because we have nine foot ceilings, so. I like that one, and that would be the one I would prefer. And then, like, we would have to buy lights, of course, so. I don't know. I don't know which lights I would prefer. I don't really care. Colored ones. I hate whenever people do white lights. I don't know why. I know that's stupid, but I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not a white light person. <laughs> okay. And then here's the angels and stuff. I like this one. I feel like this is fun for like a kid. You know what I mean? For like Clover and Ev because it's like different colors. Or like this is pretty. Those are both cute. I don't feel like your star has to light up. I'm not. I don't really care if it lights up or not. But I think that one's really cute. Those two are really, really cute. I like color on my Christmas tree. And then, oh, those are cute. Okay. Countdown to Christmas ornaments, fillable. That's cool. I guess they fill them and then you give your kid a candy every day. But it's cool because you could refill them yourself. Like advent calendars, you have to buy one every year. And then, these are really cute. These are like fun ones. I feel like this would be perfect for me. <laughs> nail shimmer and then it like moves around it's like a nail polish and then this is like a lipstick these are so cute they're adorable I think everybody should have like at least one or two like special ornaments and then like regular ones of course I love this for the girls the girls would love this that one's cute too I love her little like fat body it's so funny They've got like Rapunzel and Aurora, which I think like maybe if he wants, if he wanted to get like special ones, like these would, these kind would be cute, like to represent that their room was princesses at this time. I feel like everyone most certainly thinks I'm crazy. like a bubble gum one which is adorable too it's got like little bubble gum thing in it that move they're not really bubble gum obviously and then this one's really cute too you can even like squeeze it that's cute they're all really cute so any of them would be acceptable Vlogging in public used to like freak me out because I thought people thought I was nuts, but I've gotten used to it after a while. Because I'm like, if they think I'm crazy, like they could at least ask, you know what I mean, like what I'm doing, but they don't. Nobody ever asks what you're doing when you're vlogging in public. Okay, and then I'm gonna look at these. I know this seems weird, but I feel like it would be nice for me to help Daryl if he wanted to surprise us with a tree this year. Um, like, I don't know that he'll be able to, but if he wants to try, then at least he'll have this video to show him what I like, you know, what me and the girls would want. So, here's all the bulbs, and I kind of like these. I wish the green and the red weren't in it. I wish it was just, like, pink, teal, and purple, but they don't have that. So I feel like that would be good. I'm not like one of those like silver and red people. I really like to have some color in there. 
like to get some color. I don't want the rainbow ones though. Those aren't those aren't my fave. Although they're not they're not so bad. I don't know. I really like these. These would be my ideal pick. But I guess it's like the same price because you would have to buy like one, two, three, probably like four of these, so it'd be like twenty, but that's fifteen and you get how many? Fifty. Yeah, so you'd have to buy more than five of those. So I like that one or that one. Either of those are cute. Those are cute. Somebody just farted. Which is hilarious. I could hear it in the video. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next. So Clover's having a late lunch. We got sandwiches and mandarin oranges. She's having a ah! turkey sandwich with a <laughs> little bit of cheese, mustard, and some organic mayonnaise and some mayonnaise. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, Ev was sitting on the floor and we gave her a piece of bread and she was eating it. So, we just gave her the whole plate and. Look at her. I think you're going to steal her bread. <laughs> she, Nobody wants your soggy bread. bread. She likes to sit on the floor. We don't force her to sit on the floor and eat, but she enjoys sitting on the floor. Right, you want to sit with me? Ugh. Clover's favorite thing to sit on the floor. No, they don't. Watch your head. Look at me. But yeah, Ev stuffs her face. Say hi, Clover. <laughs> okay. So Daryl's gonna give us his first impressions of this wipe case, which is product of the year. How do we know it's a case? It says it right here. Product of the year. It's because, honey, it says product innovation. Wipes are not any innovation. True, very true. All right, so but it could have been softer. On just her. tell but, them. All right, so oh my we got a very secure case here, actually. Hey, this is a refillable case. It looks like it is. So you have two ways of opening it. It looks like no, maybe not. Is that, that's not open way? There's a sticker back there. It says pull here. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. It says pull, but I think you pull that so that you can get like the whole visual of the case, and you don't have to have that stupid huggy sticker. Ah. Because nobody wants a, that sticker. It's a good sticker. That's why it's product of the year. We'll show if you can remember. We're really using uh, the old school book stickers where they just peel right off and they don't rip the paper or anything. So. I know you guys love when Daryl reviews things, so I'm making him review this case. Alright, so you have a nice case here, very well designed. You get it popped open. There are multiple designs. Tell them what that material is in there. Okay, then it's got like a. Rubber. Rubbery uh, silicone show, material. Show them. Show them. I guess that's to help keep the moisture in. You didn't even show it. Oh, okay. And probably so it won't rip. You don't want plastic. Alright, there you go. See? You pop off the top. And you can just slide in a new refill. And those are the wipes that come with it. Which are the what ones? Yep. These are the ones that come with it. What which, are they? Okay. Well, the starter pack by Get Yourself Going to Get Yourself Going. Okay, what kind of refill with any huggy wipes? What kind of wipes are they? These are Huggies Natural Care wipes. Okay. You, you don't have to. You don't open them like that. You don't open them. Do you open them like that? Um, Is that how you open it? Oh man. Hopefully they will let you know if they dry out this week. They should dry out. The case is made of some sort of plastic on the inside. And then that seal seems like it's rubber-ish. Yeah. The edge. Yep. So Knock on it, show them how hard it is. On the... Very firm. I mean, you can set stuff on top of it. I wouldn't. I think it's great for kids like ours who like to reach into the wipe case. I don't think they'll figure no. that one out. Well, yeah, like how to get into the rubber part to get the wipes. I don't think they'll even know it's wipes. Clover. It doesn't slide either. Hey, what's that? Wipe. It's got the rubber around the sides, so it doesn't even slide. What is that, Clover? So you can put it on something that's inclined. And not have it falling. Mm. Clover will figure out how to open it, but I don't know if she'll. I don't think she'll. Well, she doesn't play with wipes, and Ev won't realize it is wipes. Yeah. You know, like, it doesn't look like as wipes. Long as she doesn't see us open it. Clover. Don't break it. Yeah. Look, Clover. Button. Push. No. Okay, don't break it. And I got this for free out of. I got the coupon out of a Huggies. 
um, package, but they are like three forty nine or something. They're not, they're not super expensive if you're gonna <laughs> you're use it over and over. Again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you're gonna use it over and over again, three forty nine isn't so bad. Cause I mean, they're it's like definitely not disposable. No, there are like people on. And, well, you could dispose of it, but it's yeah. not like. But there are like, like there are like people on Etsy who make those. Remember when we had that yeah, for Clover, had, that little cute one. But the fabric ripped yeah. off of it for us, and um, it was just really expensive. I think it cost us like sixteen dollars to have that made. So, I mean, obviously it was customized to us though. Yeah. Like those are the things you do for your first kit. That you know what I mean? Like you customize everything and like. Ugh. That was a mess. I still customize stuff for them, but I just don't go as like crazy as I used to. Wrap it. Ooh, fancy. Don't break it. You like it? No, yeah, it's neat, huh? Daryl won't get off the computer so I can put the vlog up for the day. So. I'm about to go put the vlog up. Bye. Say bye. bye. Clover, say bye, guys. Bye, bye. Good bye, job. Bye. So we just two are dancing to bring it on. It's blurry. <laughs> Is it going to autofocus? So they're dancing to bring it on. Tryouts. <laughs> I've just got done, but Clover's still working on it. Clover, spin fast. Spin fast. Spin. Do your, do your fast spin. No? Okay. She doesn't want to. She said no. So apparently Clover wants to be right next to Everly because she just pulled her high chair over. And she's going to take her food. No, you can't take Everly's food. You have yours and she has hers. Clover, no. Let her have her food. Let her eat her food. But they got little mini burgers, some tomatoes, broccoli with cheese, and some pasta. Both of them. We know Ev likes bread. She makes a mess with her food, so. You like your pasta, Clover? Clover's got an apple, too. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think she just says no to everything now. You ask her a question, she just says no. No. Can you give me the Gatorade? The Gatorade? Okay. So, yeah, we've been giving them Gatorade instead of just plain old juice. It's got it's electric lights and everything, and not a lot of sugar. Helps hydrate because they need it. I don't know what I was filming. Uh, straw. Which straw? This one? Mm -hmm. ah! <sighs> straw! So I just filled half with Gatorade and half with water. Yeah. Mm. Clover, you got a cup coming. Mm. There. Does she like it? I don't know. Clover, use this. That's where it goes. See? Keeps it from spilling. You like tomatoes? No, that's yours. That's yours. You can have it. She's always trying to give people food. She thinks that they'll take it if they ask for it. So right now I'm putting together Daryl's burgers. Daryl's burgers. Look at that. Avocado on there. Nice and voluptuous. Voluptuous <laughs> avocado. Should we break up Ev's burger a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go eat. So Daryl's going to try his burger. Very nice and big burgers. Mmm. Mm. It's cooked. Mm-hmm.
up to temperature. He always stares at the insides. Mmm. Very good. He's also got broccoli and cheese, some tomatoes, and some butternose.